Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the effect noise removal. It's a great tool in some ways and a very dangerous one in others because if you get the settings wrong, you can really mess up your audio. So I'm going to try and walk through this kind of carefully. First, let's look at the tool here. I got to it through the effects menu, noise removal. And here it is. I'm going to kind of explain it. It's going to talk to you first about a noise profile. You want a sample of what it is that you consider noise that you want taken out of your track. We'll get to that in just a moment. You've got your noise reduction here. Now, when it says noise reduction, what it means is the amount of volume reduction that is going to be applied to the section that is noise. You're going to use the lowest value here that reduces the noise to a level that's acceptable for you. So you use the lowest value you can to make this work. Higher values than necessary will make the noise really quiet, but it will result in distorting the rest of the audio, which you don't want to do. Now, this next one, sensitivity has to do with how much of the audio will be considered as noise. It, what it does, it applies a gain to the noise thresholds obtained in step one. Uh, so moving the slider right from zero will treat more of the audio as noise, which is going to reduce it by the level that you've already set up here in your noise reduction. You don't, you don't want to reduce this kind of stuff. You don't want to make it think that's noise. So I always leave this at zero. I just don't mess with that. Now the frequency smoothing, this next one, down here, it, the larger this value is, the more that the effect is going to consider different frequencies in your track as being the same. So if your noise is a single frequency, like a hum from a speaker or a high-pitched whistle, then keep this number very small. But if your noise is more like a hiss, like mine is, then a larger value is generally going to be better. And then this next one, this attack decay time, that's a second value. So what it means is how quickly does the noise removal react when it picks up noise? If you use a larger value, um, you would do that if the background noise is pretty consistent. And you can use a smaller value if your background noise varies a lot. Okay, in my case, it's pretty consistent, so I might want to use this higher. But I'm not going to do that yet. Okay, first, let's talk about this remove and isolate. Remove, actually, when you have that clicked and you hit OK, it is going to remove the noise according to the settings that you have here. If you click isolate and you hit OK, it's going to remove everything else just as a preview to let you see uh, what you're actually removing. It's going to, so all you're going to hear is noise and it's going to say, this is what you're removing. Is that what you want? And you use that with this preview button. Okay. Listen to one another. See, so everything you heard there is what it's going to remove at these current settings. Okay. Sometimes that's helpful. Now I'm going to put it on remove here. And the first thing we're going to do is get our noise profile. That's where you start. So I'm going to cancel this whole thing because you don't want to start with the, with the plugin opened. First thing I'm going to do is choose a sample. Okay, this is my noise. I'm telling it. This is what I consider to be noise. So effect, noise removal, get noise profile. And it looks like I didn't do anything. But what I did was I gave it a sample of what the noise is going to be. Now I'm going to select the section that I want to remove the noise from which in the end is going to be the whole track, but I'm just choosing a small section so we don't have to wait a lot. I'm going to go back to noise removal, and then I'm going to run it just based on these settings. Okay, I'm going to leave the settings exactly like they are, and let's preview it. Addition to one another. And he's... Okay, it sounded okay, except right there at the end you hear this weird kind of a sound. Okay, listen to it again. Addition to one another. And he's... Okay, so you want to use this preview thing. Make, listen to it so you don't have to just do and undo and do and undo and get a new noise profile every time. Just use your preview. Okay, now why is it making that weird sound? Well, my guess is the sensitivity is too high. Remember I said I usually leave that at zero. And also the frequency smoothing is probably not high enough. But let's preview it again and see what happens just with the sensitivity changed. Addition to one another. And he's... Okay, it still has that weird sound there at the end. So... I'm pretty sure it's this frequency smoothing is not high enough, so let's try it again. Addition to one another. And he's... Yeah, much better. I, I think it could possibly even be a little higher. Let's listen to it again. Addition to one another. And he's... Yeah, not too bad. And my attack and decay time is at 0.15 seconds. Uh, that could be a little higher. Let's try that again. Addition to one another. And he's... So... It sounds pretty cool to me. I mean, still have a little room noise there, but it's going to be a lot better. Now, when I hit OK, you'll be able to see visually how much better it is. You see how much it dropped all that. So I'm going to listen to that section now. Addition to one another. And he's going to highlight this in the next 21 verses. Today. Now, I let it play there a little longer because I wanted you to hear the difference. Okay, so let's go back. Addition to one another. 
So this is where it's removed noise, and the other down here further is where the noise is still there. You can see an obvious difference just with your eye. So that's the basics of how you use the noise removal tool. Again, be careful with those settings because if you get it out of whack, you're really going to mess things up. And also use that preview function. That'll really help you out. Okay, check me out at freeaudacitytutorials.com. I do Audacity tutorials there, absolutely free. And I also do podcast cover art and, and website headers, as well as podcast consulting. And I'm also beginning some voiceover uh, services to do funny voices or different voices at the beginning or end of your audio tracks if you need those. So I don't have a banner up about that yet. Just contact me through the website. Thanks. Mm -hmm.